Hey, this is Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I am sharing the February uh, 2024 release of Now Playing, a mini bookmakers club from Everyday Explorers. This kit is designed for documenting your media consumption. So things like shows you're watching, movies, books you're reading, audiobooks, podcasts, all the things. Um, in the kit, you get um, a couple sheets of patterned paper, and then on the back side of the patterned paper are some three by four cards. You get some uh, word strip stickers, some icon stickers, and some label stickers. And then also, um, this kit comes with a stamp set. So, um, I will be using this notebook as intended as a media journal. Lo I love the idea of having a year long look at what I am consuming each month and also what I'm finishing. I'm going to focus on the things that I'm finishing. Um, so if I start something one month, I think I'm going to just document it the month that I finish it. So for example, later on, you'll, you'll, you'll see it later on. I make a, I'm making a cover page with the pattern paper and one of the labels, and then I'm pulling some stickers from my stash to create the 2024 media log title. Um, and from here, I my phone cut out, my phone died, the battery died, and so I, um, you, I miss, I'm not a, I don't have the beginning, as you can see here, of me putting the spread together, but um, I was able to fix this fairly quickly. So um, I'm going to document three things, um, a show I'm rewatching, a new to me show, and then um, a book I finished, an audio book I finished this month. And I have my little selfie of me with my headphones, which I'm wearing basically all the time. And then um, on the bottom, I've created a little, um, it looks, it's almost like washi tape, um, but it's the pattern paper to pull all the colors from this collection together. And I love the sort of funky retro vibe of this colorway. There are several colors in this kit that I use frequently. Um, the, that, that like sea glass, robin's egg blue, the mustard yellow, the, uh, the pink, all, I use those a lot, but I don't often use purple. And so, um, I was glad, happy to add that into the mix. Um, and, uh, uh, really just, I just really enjoyed this colorway and it worked super well with the spread too. Um, I have a lot of different colors going on in this spread and this kit seemed to be able to pull them all together really nicely. Um, so I, I am adding a lot of stamping, um, because I, I don't know, I'm, well, cause I love the stamps. Um, and here I'm masking one of the stamps so that all, all I'm getting is the TV icon. And another option, which I did do is I have trimmed a few of the stamps in this kit so that the words under the icons are not attached anymore. Um, because in my mind, I'm much more likely at, to use the icon than the word with the icon. So I just went ahead and trimmed my stamps and they're yours. You can, the stamping police aren't coming for you, so you can do whatever you want with your stamps. Um, I am pretty excited to note on here that I finished this audiobook because I started it a while, to, a while ago, um, and, um, just took me a while to finish it. Cause I, with audiobooks, I have been kind of back and forth about when I listen to them and finally found a time that works better for me in my like day to day. Um, poorly stamped stamp on the left side will get this is going to get covered up um, with some pattern paper and I know I've said this in another video but one of the best things to have on hand when you are stamping 
is scratch paper or like extra scraps of matte white sticker paper so that if you mess up, you can just stamp that image on that sticker paper and then add it and no, nobody would know. Um, so that's exactly what I've done here. I just kind of, it's, the image just stamped poorly and it was user error. Um, and so I just went ahead and stamped onto some sticker paper and just cut it out and we'll add it. And I actually like it better with the color in the background, the pattern in the background. I just think it, I don't know, it looks better. And um, in the future, like as I go through this little insert, I think I'm going to put less on the page. I really did cram a lot onto this page. Um, I realize now, like I, I had more to say about the book and I maybe I'll add more information about the book later. Um, and um, so I think in the future, I'm going to stick to like one, one item per page, but it was fun to see like how much could I get onto these two pages. I probably also won't do a selfie every month. <laughs> I just thought it just worked for the spread. So I thought I would add it. Um, I am just testing this stamp before I actually um, add it to the page. Um, and good thing I do because of course later I smear and so I will use one of those extra stamped images to add on top of the smear. Um, so I am wrapping this spread up. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of journaling about Game of Thrones and also the new to me uh, show Death in the Details and that's it. If you like this kit, I encourage you to head over to Everyday Explorers. I have a link in this description of this video um, and grab this kit. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.